Good morning. Welcome to Colored Roses and Thorns. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This morning, um, have you ever seen people that ask you to tell them the truth, but when you tell them the truth, they get mad? Yeah, excuse me, my arms are uncovered this morning, but I'm in the house. <laughs> and people ask me truthfully, I can never get this huge out to see it right because I have my hair braided and I usually have it, but I have it all braided up under here so it doesn't sit flat. But yeah, I had someone um, ask me to tell them the truth about something that had happened years and years and years ago. And so I told them, I say, I told you the truth then, and I'll, I'll tell you the truth again. And I told them the same truth. It's only one truth. What happened? And they turn around and get mad. <laughs> Why is it that people don't like truth? I used to get severely, if you even told a little story, you will get severely punished. So my whole life, I'm like, I do better just telling the truth. And plus, I've never been good at lying anyway. And don't want to be good at lying. So truth is what I do. At one time, I actually had this on a platform called Truth. It's because everything, it had to have fact. Because usually when I say something, it's based on facts or either a direct download from the most high. So some people might say, well, when it comes from the most high, that means you're speaking your truth. But if it pans out and actually happens, was it not the truth? Of course it was truth. If I predict something or I see a vision and I tell you, if I choose to tell a person about it, of course, it, oh, you mind, you want. But then when it happens, <laughs> oh, girl, you were telling the truth. But uh, I'm just starting to realize that people really don't want to hear the truth. But, um, well, some do. I'm not going to say everyone. Because my grandmother, she was like top of the head truth. Whatever she saw going on, she was going to tell the truth about it. If somebody asked her a question, whether it hurt you or not, she was going to tell you the truth, and in the long run, it was better that the person knew the truth rather than a lie anyway, because they'll eventually find out the truth, because anything that is true will not stay hidden forever. Um, recently, I had someone ask me to tell them what had happened about a situation when they were little. So I came out, told the truth. They turned it around, got mad at me because I told the truth. I said, okay, I'm not gonna lick your behind anymore. I said, you asked me what happened. I told you the truth, but you still wanna go and live with rose-colored glasses on. I wasn't taught to lie. I don't know how to lie. So it's like I can write a play based off of truth that has happened or I've seen in somebody else's life. But as far as making up a lie about something, honey, I'm not 
I'm not good at it. Never have been good at it. So if I'm on here and I'm seeing something happen and something is going on or I perceive something, it's the truth. And usually I have facts to back it up. I keep adamant records of everything. So when I say something, when I'm doing a platform like this, when I'm sitting here talking directly to you and I'm seeing that particular things have happened, I'm not just blowing smoke. <laughs> I'm talking from papers, records, factual things that have occurred and things I can back it up with. And if I have a vision at that time, share a vision with you, it's because that is what I see or what has been given to me for me to relate to you. And most of the time I have to have people come back and say, you know, you said this was going to happen and this, this, and that. No, I just know how the universe works. I just know whatever you put out will eventually come back. But some people say, well, um, then why am I suffering? I've been doing good things, good things all along. At that time, sometimes you have to go through tests in order to grow. Sometimes you have to go through hard times in order to force yourself out of the box or to spread your tree limbs to grow. And once you grow, you can't suck those tree limbs back in because experiences are added throughout your life. Things you learn are added throughout your life. So if you go back say, to your hometown and you've been moved away for some years. While you were gone during those years, your branches have grown. You've learned new things. You've learned and been introduced to different cultures and different languages and different experiences. You're not going to be the same as you were years ago when you were a teenager. If you're still the way you are when you were a teenager, something is wrong. You had to have had some sort of change. Life is full of changes and full of growth. So if you are not changing and growing and still act like you did when you were a teenager about some things, some things don't change. But most of the time, when you grab knowledge, you're not going to stay the same. Maybe your core teachings will stay the same or your core morals that you were taught will stay the same. But you gather experiences every day. You're not the same as you were a day ago because a day ago, you probably want something new. We're constantly changing, constantly growing. And I got on that subject, <laughs> though I was talking about truth. That is truth, that life is change in growth. So if I tell you the truth about something you saw as a teenager, and I, I'm telling you the truth, and now you're an adult, you should have had enough experiences in life to prepare you for adult things and prepare you for the truth that someone tells you about something that happened a long time ago in order to bring you healing. But if you're trying to heal and you're actually getting the truth from somebody and you want to accept the truth, how are you ever going to heal? First, you have to accept the truth. See it for what it really was. It really is. And then from there, you start to heal 
We're dealing with truth instead of with fantasy. So, again, I don't understand some people not wanting the truth. If they ask you a question, if you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you the truth. It may not be pretty. The truth is not always pretty at all. But I'm going to show you facts. If you want to push it there and say, well, I need more information, I'm going to bring out the facts for you. I'm going to bring out documents. I'm going to bring back old texts. I'm going to bring back uh, birth certificates from a long time ago. I'm going to bring back whatever I have to show you the truth, if that is what you need. And I can I just can't muster People had rather hear a lie and believe a lie, <laughs> which will eventually lead to you discovering the truth. And when you discovered the truth and knew that it was a lie, but somebody told you that it was a lie, then all of a sudden, why you didn't tell I did tell you, you just weren't listening and you didn't want to hear it. I told you the truth. Now, I can't stand for a person to lie to me. I'm like, just tell me the truth. And uh, I knew this person constantly lying, constantly lying. And the only time I've ever seen that, even children, you know, they tell the truth. But if they do something that they think what's wrong and they're going to get punished for it, they might try to fabricate a story in a way where they won't get in trouble. But eventually the truth comes out anyway because they, they're not good at telling a lie or keeping a lie. They go, go back and tell the truth or something. That's just how a child's mind works. But if you ask me the truth, I'm going to tell you the truth. If I see something and I feel like sharing that vision with you and it comes to pass, you better know it was true. Don't come to me telling the truth. I'd rather hear a harsh lie. I mean, a harsh truth than a lie. Because eventually, the truth always comes out. It might be hidden for years. People do extravagant, I'm going to say extravagant things to hide truth sometimes. But even a dead man in the wilderness will be found. If a person commits a murder, it has never come to pass. If a person commits a murder, I don't care if they hide the body in two, two but two in a wood on the a branch down in the ground. Eventually, that body is found. Have y'all ever heard that thing that where they speak about it in your Bible, where um Cain and Abel. And then when the brother killed his brother, they say that the blood was crying out from the earth and that's how they knew that he had been killed. Blood still cries out from the earth. I don't care if you put them in a grinder, it still cries out that they have been murdered. On this earth, it's just going to cry out and it's going to be a person mistaken. I don't believe there are mistakes. Are things not happening because they're supposed to happen? They're like, watch that person way out in the wilderness anyway and go run up on their body because a spirit of God sent them there. They don't know why they passed that way. But that's why I'm saying, no matter, the truth will always reveal itself. I don't care if the truth has been hidden 
is going to soon be revealed somehow, some way. It's going to come to the surface. Just like a dead body in the wilderness and a hiker running up on them. In a place the murderer probably thought that a person could never be found, but they always get found. Truth does not hide itself and it eventually comes out. Even whether I say anything or not, the truth is going to be the truth and the truth will eventually come out no matter how many lies a person will tell. There's always like a, like a fingerprint or a life print or something of truth. Truth leaves the trail even though it can be disguised and hidden up under a lot, but eventually that truth comes to the surface. It will show its face. There is no way that truth can ever be hidden. So a lot of y'all, if you worry about people lying on you and all that, truth comes out. Truth eventually comes to the surface, especially if you're doing everything that you're supposed to do in this life and you're honestly telling the truth and living truth as the most high it wants you to, Allah wants you to. There is no way that a lie can ever win over the truth. So if you go to a person and you're asking them the truth and you know this person go tell you the truth, if they tell you the truth, you either go accept it then, reject it. But I tell you one thing, eventually you will know the truth, all of it. That's just the way the universe works. And once you have an understanding of how the most high God works, um, and once you have an understanding of how the universe works, <laughs> you will understand that truth can never be hidden. And when somebody tell you the truth, no matter how harsh it is, say thank you. Because eventually <laughs> you will go find out the truth anyway. Had you whether a friend or somebody you really know that usually always tells the truth, tell you the truth? Come on now. You know you have some of those people out there that lie all the time and you know they lying. That's that's another thing. If you know a person is a constant liar, I mean consistently lie time and time again. Why would you believe them like a 50th time? With those type of people, you just have to pan, let, let the truth just eventually come out. Because there are some people that lie so good, they lie to you with a straight face. And most have <laughs> fantasy. Hold up. Well, I'll talk to you guys later because there's someone at the door.